story to tell. Developed in the late 1990s to become the next generation of main battle tanks for export market of the Russian army, the Black Eagle T-80UM2 has been rated by military experts as the future of tank production. Unfortunately, because of the financial problems, this tank was never put into mass production, but the research gained during its creation was later used in the manufacturing of the T-14 Armata. In the design of the Black Eagle, a large number of innovative technical solutions were used, and its layout was significantly different from all previously developed combat vehicles. The Black Eagle was thought to have been developed by Armstrong Max and later Euron Wagen Zerot for the Russian Federation to replace the aging T-80 and T-72 main battle tanks. Very little information was ever released on either the prototype tanks or their equipment, features, or design. A production version of these tanks has never been publicly demonstrated. In May 2010, the project was cancelled by the Russian government and stated that none of the tanks would be built as the tank design was already obsolete. A mock-up of the Black Eagle was first demonstrated at the VTTV Arms Exposition in Omsk in September 1997. The works on tanks were done in a strictly secret atmosphere. Even during the show, the turret was covered with camouflage nets. The tank was demonstrated at a distance of 150 meters and only in strictly defined corners. The tactical and technical properties of the new tank was still a secret, but the developers claimed that it exceeded the fighting qualities of the latest Western tanks of the time. An early prototype was shown at an arms exposition in Siberia in June 1999. This tank had an elongated hull with seven pair of broad wheels instead of the T-86, and a turret still mostly upcast by camouflage netting. The Black Eagle, also known as the Object 640, was developed based on the T-80U chassis. Therefore, it is also known as T-80U-M2. The T-80U itself is an improved variant of the T-80 tank. The body size of the T-80U is longer than the predecessor. Its composite armor is also very thick, up to 400mm with explosive reactive armor. Compared to the T-80U, the Black Eagle has an extra pair of road wheels and a brand new turret. It appears to have had very thick front armor and new generation cactus explosive reactive armor on the hull and turret. The Black Eagle is completed with a very large brand new turret, box-shaped turret buster, instead of the traditional dome ship of previous Soviet and Russian main battle tanks. The Black Eagle tank has a high degree of protection against a variety of anti-tank weapons. Driver's position was moved towards the rear of the hull for better frontal protection. Turret roof has multi-layer armor to protect against top attack threats. It also incorporates draws to or arena active protection system and Stora 6 and Stora HB visual protection systems. It is clamped that the Black Eagle is fitted with an air thrust radar, which notifies crew about enemy aircraft and helicopters located up to 16 kilometers away. According to Russian reports, the Black Eagle design had abandoned the carousel style autoloader in the fighting compartment for an autoloader mounted in the last Western style tourist buster, which incorporates a blowout armor ammunition compartment for crew safety like the US M1 Abrams, the German Leopard 2, British Challenger 2, French Leclerc, and several other modern Western tanks.
the prototype had a 125mm tank gun, but it was stated that it may have accommodated a larger main gun from 135 to 152mm. It would have a range of effective fire of up to 10km. It could also have the capability to launch anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. Secondary armament consists of 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun mount. The tank is equipped with a new GDT-1400 gas turbine engine, capacity of more than 1500 horsepower, and has a combat weight of 48 tons. Thus, the power density of the tank exceeds 30 horsepower per ton, and, as a consequence, the dynamic characteristics of the Black Eagle should significantly exceed the specification of the Western third generation of tanks having a specific power of 20 to 25 horsepower per ton. With external fuel tanks, this MDT could have a range of up to 1,000 kilometers. The Black Eagle has a crew of three. Designated members of the crew are located in the heart of the tank below the level of the tower. This can be accessed through hatches commander and gunner in the turret housing and driver hatch in the heart of the tank. This prototype MBT has a better management system, allowing to be constantly aware of the battlefield situation and exact vehicle location. Object 640 was one of the favorite topics of the Western press publications of the time. The great characteristics were attributed to the tank. Object 640 has been called the 4th generation tank and sometimes the 5th generation. However, there was no official statement. Soon, the Black Eagle was gradually forgotten. In the early 2000s, it was announced that a new main battle tank, the T-95, would be created in Russia. Around the same time, the arms company, which failed to receive orders from the Russian Defense Ministry, went bankrupt. My video of Black Eagle main battle tank ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.